sense of purpose, a sense of mission, a sense of passion about what one does. And I believe in servant leadership because we have too much self-serving leadership today. Um, and we have been at the Children's Defense Fund trying so hard to create a critical mass of new, young servant leaders who understand it's not about them. It's about leaving the world better than you found it. Boy, after sort of growing up with great community elders, I went off to Spelman College and there was Dr. Benjamin E. Mays, who was my role model, and that of Dr. King, and many thousands of young people who came to the Atlanta University Center. And um, when I got to know Dr. King as a very young person, and the first time I ever went to Mississippi, I got to know Medgar Evers. I just, my life was so blessed with so many extraordinary folk, including the great women of Mississippi after a while, and I learned that, you know, most of the wisest people I've known didn't get PhDs from Harvard or USC or UCLA. They were the people who had mother wit and, and cared and staying power and grit um, and perseverance. And they were the ones that brought about the transforming change in our country because they wanted to have their children have a better life. Um, and I don't know why in the world on our watch we're less than letting children fall backwards and we have so many more resources, so many more opportunities. And so I hope we can recapture some of the grit of my elders because we should not be letting things go back on our watch. Slow down a little bit. Take more time for reflection and silence. Um, try to have better balance. I, sometimes I think I have a very serious fun deficit. Um, but I think it's, um, and laugh at yourself a little bit more. And don't be such a workaholic. On the other hand, I'm in a great hurry because there's a great deal that has to be done.